and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia, where we just found out that Regal is a murderer. Well, and to be fair, received the title El Presidente. To be fair, he's probably less of a murderer than Lloyd. I don't think Regal's actually burned any villages yet. Well, speaking of murders and El Presidente, have you ever played the Tropico series? I have. I don't even know if I own one. I've been interested in it, but I haven't played it. Tropico. It's very fun. Um, I do have the third one. I don't think I've played... You have the third... That's that's probably good. Third, The third one is better than the fourth one, and I think the fifth one is really good, but the third is, like, pinnacle. It's great. Okay. I'll have to play that one it's then. Really fun. Yeah, it's because it, it puts you in control starting in, I think, 1947 or whatever, uh -huh. of, like, a small banana republic during the Cold War. Um, but you can be any kind of ruler you want, so you can be um, far left, far right, like a fascist or... Mm -hmm. Or like a, I don't know, really all around good person. But you can do things like, um, I don't know. There's there's edicts and laws you can do. Like you can mm -hmm. institute um, something called the Inquisition, where, um, oh, wait, I'm thinking of the well. There's there's several kind of religious laws you can enact. Um, one is you can have the Pope visit if you have a cathedral with at least one bishop. Right. And I think you're not in martial law. He can have the Pope visit. Which boosts church attendance. Um, I'll also go ahead and another one is out, Inquisition. Though. I think Inquisition slows down education a bit, but it makes church attendance go up. Oh. Um, same with book burning. You can what? you can hold a book burning and it slows education down by fifty percent, but um, oh. I think church attendance goes further up. I hate that stupid false thing because it's like the church yeah. doesn't hate books. Oh, the church doesn't hate education. trying to preserve them while the Vikings tried to burn yeah. them. Not just that, it's like, we made colleges! The Catholic Church is what made the school system, essentially! Ah! Sorry. Well, you can also ban same-sex marriage. You can ban contraceptives. That's um, not so bad. You can institute social security. Um, make it so that people can get food more easily. You can embezzle money. There's so much stuff that you can do. Uh -huh. You can, if there's... Because there's elections, well, depending on whether or not you allow them, um, sometimes elections will go up, and you can just have you can have the po person that's running against you. You can arrange an accident so that oh, you know really? they kind of, or you can have them publicly arrested, publicly assassinated, or you can have them excommunicated too. You can talk to the bishop and have them just kind of remove them, and that immediately oh. makes it so that every religious tropican doesn't like them. I have to check that um, out. That does sound interesting. Yeah, it's it's fun from the sheer amount of stuff you can do. I typically went the route of, um, I guess, Socialist Paradise, which actually worked fairly well once. But as it got later on, um, I think our economy started to stagnate, so I started bringing in tourists. Right. And I think I have to go back to it at some point because our economy is really starting to go down. But we were like in a golden age. So my next right. one is probably going to, I'm probably going to go far right religious republic or something like that. It does sound pretty interesting, man. Hmm. I'll have to check that out, then. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. I'll install it later, that way it doesn't in interrupt us at the moment. So. Yeah, it, shouldn't, it actually shouldn't be too big. It's fairly old. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I need to get a new router, because uh, mine's dying. Oh, ours, yeah. Ours is three years old at the moment, like, yeah. You're supposed to replace them every two, I think. Mm, well, I have no idea how old ours is. That's fair. Like, I think the other problem with ours is it's a combination modem router, so it does double the thing, but, you know, wears down twice as fast as such. Uh, yes, yeah, so you'd probably need it quicker than most people. Yeah, which is unfortunate, because that's the only thing that uh, CenturyLink will do. Like, you have to buy their modem and routers, and it's like, their routers aren't bad, but I want my own router. Oh well. Oh, here we go summoning the summon spirit, by the way. That uh, helped us last episode. Uh, Genus, I always misread your name. I'm sorry. I guess. Just given how. The, how did, what do you misread it as? Something less than appropriate? Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess because it's, it's a natural reaction for most people nowadays. Yeah, I, I don't know. Something about the way that G looks is a little weird, too. Like, I don't think they intended it at all. Hey, Aska, can I ask you a question? 
I regret getting this name already. <laughs> it's about the tenth time I've heard that joke today. Congratulations. <laughs> I just he probably gets that a lot. He probably does. I'd be surprised if he does. Oh, wouldn't it be a they because they have two heads? I well, think so. I don't know. Why do they just ask it if they have two heads? Because wouldn't that mean they have... This is quite a conundrum. Oh, yeah. They have two heads, but they're just one person. But then there's like one of a brain and one doesn't. Because if one of them... If they both have brains, then they're two different people connected. Yeah, because it's like... The Hydra from Greek lore also had different brains too, didn't it? Because each one acted individually. Yeah. And I guess that was, it was just a Hydra, not necessarily its name is Hydra. Like, yeah. hey Hydra, how you doing? It's like, oh, it's the Hydra. Right. So I guess that's kind of similar. I don't know. And maybe each head had names and people just didn't bother to uh, stick around and ask. Yeah, I can see. That. I mean, I can't blame anybody for not sticking around a Hydra. Yeah. Anyways, is there any saints that you're interested for with drinking with the saints? St. James the Greater. Was there a St. James the Greater? Let me go ahead and see. Or St. James the Elder, whatever it would be. St. James... Oh, uh, yeah, St. James the Greater. Give me one second. Page 180 through 184. Let me see. That is... Looks like there's a few drinks for uh, St. James the Greater. Let's see, there's Quimeda, or Flaming, Gal Flaming Galatian Punch. Uh, the Santiago Cocktail. <clears throat> or... Nope, that's it. Obviously, I'd have to go ahead and read why those are tied in. But, let's see. I, I think I can understand why Galatian's tie tied in. The, the cocktail's the one that's... Uh... Is it Galatian? Yeah. As in GL, like, like reading from the Galatians? Uh, G A L I C I A N. Yeah. G L A I. G A L. G A L I. C I A N. Yep. Flaming Galatian oh. punch. That might be Galatia. Because I think that's where his shrine's located. Santiago probably works better because mm -hmm. Santiago is literally Spanish for James, uh, St. James. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, then. Is Santiago comes from like vulgar Latin Santi Iago, which is Saint Jacob, which Jacob is another name for James. Right. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Saint James Feast Day is most tied, most famously tied to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. Yep. Uh, Santiago is a uh, Galatian development of the vulgar Latin saying to Wow, I'm just repeating exactly what you just said. Yeah, I have a. He's probably one of my favorite saints. Is he? I have. Are you familiar with Tiny Saints? Uh, what do you mean by tiny saints? They're a keychain company. They um they sell keychains <clears throat> of oh do they okay multi gotcha. like a ton of different saints and some popes, uh, including Pope Francis. So I have a keychain of Saint James. He's my avatar, uh, my desktop. He's uh -huh. one of my favorite saints. That's pretty cool. Then. I want to make I want to make the walk oh, I should get... to uh, oh, Santiago at some point. You, uh, I want to go to a lot of places. I just need money. That's the uh, unfortunate part. Yeah, Holy Land and yeah, Rome. Um, the way of yeah, Rome, the Holy Land and the way of Saint James are up there for me. Yeah, I'd like to go Maybe to Constantinople too. Constantinople could, could. I'd like to go to uh, if it's still open, and I hope it is the uh, Covenant that Maximilian Kolbe opened in Japan. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or oh yeah, fire. Nagasaki. That's that's yeah. the other place. Nagasaki somewhere. I I need to visit. Yeah, I'd like to go to Japan um, because like, of that and the. Servant of God Takashi Nagai Museum and all oh, really? that. So other than, if we're not counting um, canonized saints, mm -hmm. um, one of my absolute favorites is the Servant of God Takashi Nagai. His story is one of the most inspiring things um, I've ever read in my life. Right. It's in the um, a song for Nagasaki. Like this guy is it? lost so much and yet. Uh -huh. He continued to give so is, much of his life. Is that life. the guy that wrote Silence, or is it, am I thinking somebody else? No, that's, oh, um, okay. that was, oh, I forget his name now, this case, but Takashi Nagai was a survivor of the atomic bomb, lost uh, his wife. Um, oh. He also, he eventually got cancer because he did radiation experimentation for oh, x-rays so that he could 
help get Japan up to date medic wise. Right. So he like he inflicted the radiation on himself in order to help better to other help people. other people. Right. As yeah. you know, a good Catholic would do. I mean, yeah. And eventually, later on in life, where he was bedridden and right. everything inside of him was swollen and he was like slowly wasting away, he still continued to write and pray and be with his That's kids amazing. and do all wow. of this stuff. Not many to the people point where he would get visits from different people, like atheists, Shinto, um, Protestant denominations, all other people. Eventually, right. he got. He said he was visited by um, somebody who was, I think, an evangelical or from a Protestant denomination, and they were angry when this the statue of Mary. And he said something along the lines of, "Not, you know, don't insult my mother like that. It's not right. right. It's, you know, not right." Uh, um, he received a visit from the Emperor of Japan. Right. He received a visit from a people on for he gave him a papal rosary. Like he he met with Helen Keller. Really? Like, that one? He, wow. Yeah. Yeah. His, I'd recommend reading your story if you ever get the chance. It's I, amazing. I'll have to. I was gonna say I'll have to. That does sound really amazing, as you said. Uh, we're back here for a side quest, by the way. Oh, uh, flashbacks now. The, the terrible elevator puzzles. Yeah. I don't think it takes too long this time, because all we have, like, we've solved it this time, so all we have to do is just go into the mine. I thought we had to go that way, but we didn't. Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, okay. Oh, good. I think I... Nope. I think I'm trying to avoid the bird. Then I think I just... Please don't go down there. Please don't go down there. Okay, you're good. But yeah, that does sound really interesting. Uh, Shusaki Endo was the, the uh, silence guy, by the way. Yeah, that's Shusako Endo. Oh, gotcha. Thank you. I have I have silence down here. I haven't read it yet. I've been meaning to. It's it's gotta... really good. It's mm -hmm. completely. It's not completely different than the movie, but there's more context in it. Right. And it's far better than the movie because a movie can only do so much when right. the book has so much of his inner thoughts, so much of there's, what's going on. Uh, like. There's not very many movies I'd say that came close to the book, so I, I, I agree with you entirely. I can maybe think of two at the moment, and that would be To Kill a Mockingbird, and then uh, uh, Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah. Aside from that, I, I'm sure there's more, but those are the two that I know of. Yeah, I think. I mean, I've probably said it a million times before. Anytime you mentioned it, but people would just. People only focused on the ending of it, but not on any of the yeah. stuff in the middle where it was actually pretty inspiring right. and it talked about which forgiveness yeah, and which... weakness and sin and stuff like that. Right, and that's the unfortunate part. I am yelling! Sorry. But they... Oh my god. <laughs> Be quiet, please listen carefully. Are you ready to see a bunch of x fears? I don't. Look, I see dead people. Yeah. Oh gosh. I don't fully get this because this is an X for your mine. So are these dead people, and you have to mine them? Like, does yeah, it? How did they get there? Is it like a like an ancient graveyard full of dead people? I was gonna say, is are people like coal in this world where eventually they become X spheres? You know. It does. Yeah. I wonder what happens if you do die. Well, do you have to be forcibly made into an exosphere or ex ex sphere, or do you just can you just take a dead body and turn it to an exosphere? I don't know, because it's like it was like while it was grim, it was making sense before you know we found out that there was a exosphere mine, and then we got to the exosphere mine, and it's like what? Yeah, it just it seems weird. I mean, because you figure if dead bodies just kind of naturally turned into them, then what would be the point of cemeteries? I mean, maybe then other than like respect, because you could just say, oh well. It's like Grandma's ticker went out. Time to turn into an extra for kids. Have we seen a graveyard yet? I don't think we have. I don't think we have either. Like, we saw a memorial for uh, Persea's sister, but I don't think we've seen a graveyard. Yeah, that was. Yeah. I think there was an extra <laughs> on that, wasn't there? Yeah, well, that was uh, Persea's sister that was on that. That was Persea's sister's extra on her tombstone, right? Yeah, that way. That was how they were able to talk with her still. Oh, yeah, because they killed her as a monster. Then I wonder how this happens then. Yeah, like, it was making sense beforehand. Like, you know, stress causes... Overworking makes X-Fears, and then... But now it's like, I mean, unless it was like... 
some kind of battle site, and you know they died and became X Spheres. I don't know. I just, uh, <laughs> I wish some dialogue would come up like in Skyrim, where they're like, "Hey, stop doing that!" Like when you, if you shout in a village or in a town. The guard will run up to you right. and say, "That's making people uncomfortable. Stop doing that." <laughs> you can, you can basically games. tell them I do as I please. Right. There's a couple other games that do that too, but I can't remember what other games do that. Yeah, I'm trying to think of it now because there's some ones that'll just because most people do that just to test stuff out or to be funny, right. but they'll actually get chastised by police and stuff to stop doing that. Deus Ex kind of does that. Like I haven't tested it near a police officer to be fair. For uh, Human Revolution, I don't know about the original, but it's like. People freak the heck out in the original Deus Ex. Yeah. Or Human Revolution, pardon me. Oh, I know in Far Cry 2, um, there's ceasefire zones. Right. Where the different factions will just be around in like a kind of like tense standoffish kind of thing. Right. And <laughs> if you fire, I think, one shot in the air or fire a gun anywhere, um, everything just goes like crazy. Everyone right. starts shooting at each other. Like, it goes completely nuts, and you gotta flee. Um, I think in Skyrim as well, you can you can drop something on the ground. Right. And people will oftentimes pick it up and give it to you. Um, but there's footage of someone who went into the bar in one of the cities, and he dropped, like, a mace on the floor. And someone gets up and says, I saw it. And the other guy is, no, I saw it first. And literally all the NPCs start, a, like, a bar fight over this dagger that this guy dropped. I'd, have to, I'd be curious about that. Oh, hi, Kratos. For some reason? Like, he's just walking around casually. Yeah. It's Kratos. just so, why is he just, he's just freely walking around? Like, you're the main villain himself. Excuse me, I'm just gonna walk by. I mean, to be fair, nobody else knows he's the bad guy. And, I mean, we can't hold a candle to Kratos. I mean... Like, remember, we've been saying that Kratos has been holding him back each time we fought him so far. Yeah. Also, he's not the main villain. We just think he has a... No, wait, we did meet Yggdrasil, didn't we? We may have. Like, really briefly. Like, most people would have forgotten about Yggdrasil by now, because he was there for, like... Episode 24? He came along, he was an unbeatable boss, kicked our butts, and then the Renegade saved us. That's... Yep, yeah, that's right. I don't know. We haven't seen him since, I don't think. Or at least not much of him. Blue candle. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have an energy drink, I'm tired. John woke up last night, I mean, it's not like it's a problem, it's just... When I had to work this morning, I didn't get enough sleep as such, which isn't his fault. Yeah. Kate plus eight. That's an old, old show. Yeah. Is it still on? No. I think they stopped after uh, they divorced. Did they divorce? Uh, yeah, it was a long time ago. It was it was a it was a big what to do with the media and all that, but I didn't care because I, I never even watched this. I didn't know. I was like ten. Hold on, give me one second. Uh, well, I have some bad news for you. It's still ongoing. Really? Yeah. Was it just Kate plus eight, or is, is it still John and Kate plus eight? It's just Kate plus eight, it looks like. Yeah, it was formerly John and Kate plus eight, you're right. But it's still going on? Yeah, what's... Who's Kate Gosselin? Wow. Wait, did she have six kids at the same time? They had... I think they had eight kids all together. Oh. I don't. I've just heard of the show, but I don't get the point of it. I guess. I guess just it's generic reality TV. Oh, we have eight kids. See how we live with it, and then. Yeah, I was gonna say as soon know. as I saw that it was on TLC, I was like, "Yep, that means it's garbage." <laughs> it's, it's it's sad because TLC actually used to have. I know, right? It used to be good because it, it was called the Learning Channel. Right, exactly, and it pisses me off now. It's like say yes to the dress, and it's like how, say no to this channel. Like, 
Yeah, there's old, old documentaries that used to air on it and everything, too. I know, it makes it's me shame. so sad. Like, I used to watch it when I was a kid, because there used to be good, yeah, you know, so kid I. shows on it, there. Like, I think Lamb Chop was on there, wasn't it? It might have. I know there were some, like, there were docs on there that they would probably run on the Discovery Channel. They were yeah. so uh, informative. Like, I don't know why they re don't rebrand themselves now, because it's like, the Learning Channel doesn't stand... It doesn't work for them anymore, I guess. Yeah, they could call it something else, like, um... I don't know, the... The Loser Channel! Are you a loser? Yeah, You're a I loser, mean, Peggy! Were... Loser! <laughs> uh, have you seen the map going around of the United States? And it has... It's labeled, like, Fire Nation, Air Nomads, oh, Water gosh. Tribe, and, like, Texas is just propane and propane accessories oh, nation. <laughs> propane and propane accessories. That'd be That's a clean scene. burning hell, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some them. shit and some shit accessories. <laughs> By the way, this is something I could have done, done too for a side quest. I kind of forgot about it because they don't mention it after this. But you can actually totally come back here and do the arena by yourself or with the party. Like, there's two different sets of arena. Yeah. But as I said, they don't mention it after this, so I kind of forgot to do it, and I've already finished recording Tales of Symphonia. I could go back, but I really don't want to go back. It's 70 episodes at this point. I think we're good. Like, you'd agree we're good on episodes, John? Yeah, I, I think we're... I don't think people... I don't think we'll get too many people saying, Hey, what about the arena fights? You need to go back and redo those. If people want me to go back and do it, I'll do it. I still have the save. It's not like I deleted everything. It's just... Oh yeah, I, I tend to keep all of my saves for stuff just yeah. in case. And it's like, you know, since it's an RPG, I would, just like I do, I'm doing with Persona 4 and Persona 5. Alright, new save, new save, alright, we'll rotate through these 10 saves. Oh yeah, just I still have my vanilla, yeah. my original P4 saves on, yeah. my, on my laptop, saved yeah. just in case. Yeah. I might do that, because the Vita is so nice, it's like, it'll, um, you know, transfer wirelessly. So I can oh just... yeah, same with... It's like transferring only without having to hook a wire up. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you're ready to fight, speak to the guard. I don't think we're ready to fight. I think we're ready to run away. I just don't think I figured that out quite yet. Yeah, because the guard's not there anymore, so we can go here. Because now we're not being threatened to be thrown in jail. Kate plus eight. Like, I don't even think of it because of Kate plus eight. Let me go ahead and find it. Uh, there was a brawl on the family that mentioned Kate plus eight, and that's the only reason I think of it. Why did Kate get arrested again? Uh, she, half elf. That's right. Oh, uh, was it when we, we went underground that it was because the half elves were the ones that were persecuted in this universe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My father oh. is no. His name is literally no. I would have picked, man. If I'd known that it was that cheap, I would have picked that up on Steam too. Sorry, I'm looking for that comic now. They also released a game, uh, Brawl in the Family Dead, called Tadpole Trouble. It was only a dollar twenty-four on Steam. I have it on Wii U already, but it's a really good game. Dave. Okay. And it's currently whoa. <laughs> okay. What's going on? We did it. Her, she, he, she, she said her dad is the Pope. Oh yeah, did we just find that out? Yeah. Yeah, her dad's the Pope. Wow, so. they're really drilling home this whole Pope is evil thing. Yes, they are. He has a daughter, but he also hates his daughter and her kind. Yeah, I don't, I don't fully get it, honestly. But you know, I mean, I don't know. Found it, by the way. Somebody remind me to put this in the video. Anyways, oh hold on. Goodness. Oh, yeah. The Pope also told me to do experiments. It's Brawl in the Family number 191, by the way. Oh man, that linked the whole thing. I was hoping we'd just get the specific one. Um, you want 33. Yeah, it's going to take a while to load. Right, I was going to say, you want 33, by the way. Let's see. 
Thank you so much for saving me and for sight. Although we're in a town where nothing's gonna happen, cause Kate, everybody's dead here. It's okay. It's oddly comforting to be surrounded by dead people. I see dead people. Did I say that out loud? Oh, I'm sorry. My father's the Pope. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. Like, I don't think they were trying to make a statement. It's just, as you said, it's recognizable. I guess it's just supposed to add like one more like. If you don't like this guy already, let's just say he has a daughter and he hates her because right. she's half elf. Roman pontiffs hate this one girl. Click here to find <laughs> out why. But anytime there are two people that one will be sacrificed by this. Equality is an illusion. Uh, no, it's not. I disagree. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Equality is not an illusion. No, you don't have to be. You definitely don't have to be. People are. Hey. Better tone down that fedora tipping right now. Right, I know, right? See, it's like, I don't... It is, it can't... A lot of people do get influenced by it, but they shouldn't be. We should, we should honestly have a quality. Yeah. But everyone has the same heart. Everyone hurts when they're rejected. Like, Lloyd is the one that's... That? Like, Lloyd is the one that's being sensible at the moment, which is weird. Yeah, which is odd, because he was the one that was like, eh, sacrifice for the better humanity. No. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, but yeah, I mean, that you're is, being that, sensible. Believe in it and do what you can. Right? It's like, wow, Lloyd's being the sensible one. All right, who pissed in his Cheerios that made him different? I don't know why I said pissed in his Cheerios. That was a bad ana analogy. I apologize. Yeah, it's more of that would do something to make him angry as opposed to change yeah. him. Um, I don't know who made him. I don't know. Where? Uh. I thought I saw the spider again. Nope. Okay. Hey, the cat that eats spiders down here is now. There's down here now. Maybe she got it. My old cat, before she got fat and before she passed away, would actually try and catch flies out of the air. Oh, would she? Because we lived in Philly and the screen for our back window was mm. bad. So we'd occasionally get flies in or they would come in from somewhere. Our cat would like literally jump around trying to swat them out of the air that and then she got been. fat and then would look at things as big as like house centipedes and just watch not <laughs> even doing anything i'm true frat oh, now you made me like she wouldn't it. she wasn't afraid of it but right. she would just kind of like lay down and just watch it walk past and not do anything right because she's too fat and can't get off like okay. she would try and jump up on my bed in the middle of the night sometimes and right. it was like a 50 50 chance whether or not she was going to make it or she was going to like Make it halfway up and then like slowly slip and like fall off and make a loud noise. Yeah. We well, should be all right in that village. Yeah, sure. <laughs> she wants to be alone with the bodies of all those people in that torched village. Right. My daddy hates me. I don't know. I do feel bad for Kate once you know her backstory. <laughs> yeah, because she's like she's. My dad's the Pope, but he's evil. But I love him anyway, because he's still my dad. Which I get. I get where she's coming from. I do. Yeah. It's still so kind of jarring to just see them, like, just say, like, flat out. Well, the Pope said. The Pope did. Right. The Pope is evil. I mean, they could have at least said pontiff or something. Yeah. Or, I mean, I don't know. It's like... Change it up some way, but I, I get what you're hey, saying. Pope, Pope isn't even really what his official title I think, no, is or was. It's just the nickname, in a sense, because it's, yep. it's close to Dad. His real name was, um, I think, the Patriarch of Rome. I think that sounds right, yeah. But that'll do it for this episode, so we'll catch you guys next time. Until then, pack set, bone them. Oh, one quick heads up. Uh, the recording did mess up for the next part, so... Yay! Oh, Catch boy. you guys next time.